In today's Climate Matters, the Sonoran tortoise population has grown a lot since the early 80s due to captive breeding, but our warming climate may become a big threat to them. Storm Tracker 4 meteorologist Danny McFarland joins us live from the west side with more on what we can do to help. Daniel. Well, the population boom has all been the captive ones. It's the wild ones that feed on vegetation like this behind me that live outdoors that are the ones seeing the issues and the one that might have a problem when it comes to the climate. Even though the population of the desert tortoise has exploded in recent years, most of those population gains have been in captivity tortoises, which cannot be reintroduced to nature due to the risk of spreading disease. Annabelle Close first got interested in climate science when her love for animals collided with the impact their environment has on different species. Well, I think when we talk about the natural world, we sometimes talk about it like we are separate from it. And truthfully, we are a part of the ecosystem. We're a species too. And there are plenty of animals like cows, dogs, and cats, and of course the desert tortoise that have had their natural world turned upside down by human intervention. The warming temperatures we are seeing are leading to some seasons producing less rain for the area. Less rain means less water to go around for the wild tortoise, and we could be left with only the ones in captivity if this unfortunate trend continues. The latest review done by the Desert Tortoise Recovery Office in Nevada says that the wild tortoise population population has dropped in Nevada, California, Utah, and Arizona, which are four of the five designated recovery areas to try to get the wild population to rebound. The study was done over a period of 10 years. If you are looking to foster these animals, there are things you can do to prepare your yard to help. So if you've got grass in your yard or native plants, that's primarily going to be their diet. That They should have that like 90% of the time. Even if you don't have that, if you just have gravel and dirt that's totally fine too you can just supplement with timothy hay or bermuda hay which is which is great so as we talked about human expansion across the desert is giving them less spaces to live so if you find one out in the wild make sure not to bring it home back to you and for more information on how you can adopt a desert tortoise just head to our website at kvoa.com in other climate news one